side seats, we are so excited because our good close personal friend Dana White is here, the president of the UFC, UFC president to be exact. First of all, great to see you again. How you are too. you doing? How's your year been? I'm good. Everything's been good. I, I, I don't have any complaints. Um, okay. I'm so excited. I'm UFC 217. This is going to be huge. New York City, Madison Square Garden. And for Canadian MMA fans, UFC fans, obviously the return of George St. Pierre is the focus. How long did it take to actually get this fight together? Because it seemed like it took 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was weird. We, you know, we, we went through some back and forth, GSP and I, and uh, it looked like it wasn't going to happen. Bisbing was going to fight the winner of Whitaker and Romero. Well, then. Whitaker ends up hurting his knee and he's out for a while anyway. GSP and I get together and have dinner and GSP lets me know I, I'm serious. I want to fight. I want to do this. And we got a deal done. It must feel good knowing Bisping's career and the path, how long it's taken him to get to this point, for him to have a fight of this magnitude. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's one of the big things. He, he wanted this GSP fight to not only to beat GSP, you know, the Canadian legend, but uh, to also, uh, you know, it's a big fight for him. For you guys, for the UFC, how important is it to have GSP back fighting? Truly, how important was it to you to get him back into the octagon? No, it's awesome. You know, this this guy is a legend in our company and in our sport. And, um, you know, he's the guy that really kicked off Canada for us, you know, when, when the whole Canada thing, the craze happened here, our first time in Toronto, and when we went into all these different cities across Canada for the first time, it was actually a really fun part of my life when, when we got into Canada. You have an amazing card coming up in Winnipeg in December. First of all, you've got Rafael Dos Anjos and Robbie Lawler headlining, right? and the winner of that fight will meet Ty Woodley, is that right, Dana? Correct. Yeah, now that's going to be absolutely huge. First of all, Robbie Lawler, taking a little time off, come back, he's going to be stronger than ever. That's yeah, no, he's a beast. Both guys are a beast. RDA just had an incredible fight, too, uh, just fought over in China. He looked incredible, and he's ready to get back into, into the title picture, and, uh, and Robbie Lawler is a beast. He always looks great. What can you say about him? And then, this is kind of breaking news. You've got a co-main for that event, Ricardo Lamas and the legendary Jose Aldo. So, yeah. Jose, we wondered, maybe I did at least, whether he was going to maybe take a step back for a little bit, but that's obviously not the case. No, nah, losing his title is, has fired him up even more. He's ready to come back, and obviously Lamas is, is a very, very tough opponent for him. So, uh, and Lamas has been waiting to get a crack at him again, so, uh, so it's perfect. When do we see Conor McGregor in the octagon again? I, I'm, I'm hoping by the end of this year before, uh, if not the end of this year, early next year. So uh, we'll see. Your, your thoughts overall on the McGregor-Mayweather fight, the way it went over for you guys. I know when I last talked to you, you thought there's no way this is actually gonna, going to happen. The fact that it did happen was amazing. The fact that Connor attributed himself so well in the squared he circle, did. I think everyone was really impressed. Yeah, people were blown away. I mean, I had the experts like Max Kellerman and Teddy Atlas and Mike Tyson. The list goes on and on saying that Connor wouldn't hit him one time. Right. You know, and that this was going to be an absolute smoke show. Uh, Connor did a great job. He, he represented himself in the sport very well. And uh, I think a lot of it's crazy because, you know, a lot of these MMA guys like to hate on Connor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they were all really proud of Connor that night and pr proud of how he made the sport look. So, uh, yeah, it couldn't have gone better. And I, I follow Connor on Instagram. <clears throat> Has he already spent all that money? He's working on it. You can see he's working on it. He's going through a couple million a day. <laughs> yeah, I think you're do right. You have a, do you, does he have an accountant? Yeah. Uh, I hope he does. You know, okay. these guys are grown men. I can't chase them around and <laughs> tell them how to spend their money, but hopefully he's got a good accountant. Speaking and he's of, paying uh, those taxes. Yes. Speaking, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on. Speaking of... Uh, Grown man, Mark Hunt had some words to say to you yeah, on some, Instagram. Some grown man words. Um, mm -hmm. Pulled from the heavyweight main event in Sydney, November the 18th. Your response to those comments? He's obviously upset. Um, <laughs> you think he's upset? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I also wonder. You know, you hear these things. People keep coming at you like you're the only one making decisions here. You know, like yeah. I mean. Well, here's the thing. If you know the Mark Hunt story, he wrote a story. Basically saying that he has, you know, he's slurring his words. Uh, he has brain damage. The list goes on and on of all these things that he's suffering from, uh, from fighting. Uh, and now he's saying that it was taken out of context. <laughs> you wrote the story. Right. How is the story you wrote taken out of context? Yeah. So, 
sometimes, you know, I, I have to come in and save these guys from themselves. Right. And we and need you're to protecting do protecting them. We need to do the proper medical testing and see if what he's saying is true or if it's just craziness. Typical Mark Hunt craziness. So you haven't talked to him personally yet? No, no, I haven't talked to him personally. You know, he came out and said, I hate him. I've always hated him. I've never hated Mark Hunt, ever. He knows that deep down inside. He's just, uh, he's acting like a wild man right now. And it happens. This is, this is the fight business, right. man. Yeah. This yeah. is a crazy business yeah. that yeah. I'm in. So yeah. you got to deal with uh, some crazy stuff sometimes. Speaking of the crazy business, weigh-ins. Uh, we see there was a, a video of a weigh-in. Uh, where was that? That was in Asia somewhere, I think, where the guy had to be carried to the scales. Uh, pa uh, Paige Van Zant, a right. recent example. He yep. got really sick. Um, just your overall thoughts. Uh, is there anything that Uf UFC can do to maybe present such drastic measures? <laughs> yeah, what we've been doing is, you know, Jeff Nowitzki, the guy that we hired that handles all the USADA stuff, you know, he's tracking all these guys' weight now. Every time they come in and weigh in, tracks them. When you come in the week of the fight, we find out where you are compared to where you were the last few times you fought. It it's it People are like, add weight classes, do this, do that. It's never going to change. You're still going to have people trying to... Um, you know, let's say I add a 165-pound weight class. That'll only mean bigger guys will try yep. to make 165. Right. Everybody's always looking for an advantage. There's, there's ways to cut weight. There's safe ways. There's, there's uh, scientific ways. Nutrition, uh, nutritionists can help you do this. Uh, everybody just wants to take the shortcuts in the easy way. And uh, there is no easy way when you're, when you're cutting weight. Um, UFC 217 coming up. It's going to be absolutely massive. Madison Square Garden, early December. Michael Bisping, George St. Pierre. Dana White, anytime you're in town, you just call us up, come hang out. We'd love to see you again, man. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And congrats yeah. on all your success, guys. Thanks, Thank buddy. you very much, my friend. I believe I said uh, December, Dana. Sorry, it's early November. November the 4th, to be exact. When we come back, silly soccer moments.